To get the ammunition they desperately need, Ukrainians are looking directly at Washington. U.S. lawmakers are negotiating on an aid of $61 billion to Kyiv within a defense package. But Senate leaders say they've failed to clinch a deal before Christmas. We have only one option. We have to succeed. The stakes are too high for America, for Europe, for the Middle East, for the world. We have to send more aid to Ukraine to defeat Putin. I think this is the most dangerous time since the fall of the Berlin Wall. No question, this package is extremely important. The most complicated part of it, actually, is the border. Because the defense package isn't just about sending aid to Ukraine. It includes aid to Israel, Taiwan, and Republicans have also tied their support to a tightening of U.S. immigration policy. Republicans want more oversight on the way U.S. taxpayers' money is spent. More than $110 billion have been transferred to Ukrainians trying to push Russian troops back. President Volodymyr Zelensky, who visited Congress earlier this month, urged lawmakers again on Tuesday to keep ammunition coming. I am confident that the United States of America will not betray us and that what was agreed upon will fully be implemented. For U.S. President Joe Biden, backing Ukraine has been a top priority. Stalled talks in Congress are seen as a setback.